Hello and welcome to the show. You're watching in Crossroads. My name is Levi and uh, we're back. I'm back. I was gone for like a week, technically two if you want to look at it that way, but really I was gone for a week and uh, yeah, now we can get back to making some, some videos. So uh, let's get right back to where we were in Evil Land. Let me just get the cursor off screen. There we go. So we were playing Evil Land 2 and we were right there. Okay. So, what were we doing exactly? Do we have a quest list? Um, hmm. Doesn't appear that we have any sort of quest list. Or something of the like. Were we supposed to find something to eat? Eat? I think that was it. Or maybe it's just exploring until we find the next thing. It's like guards quarters, eh? Stupidity is like money. The more you have, the more you show it off. <laughs> Don't go saying that to the lieutenants, though. They might take it the wrong way. Then again, why would they think it was about them, huh? Just saying. Ah, not allowed to go up there. Access to the other walls is forbidden during wartime. Even the pigeons will have to learn to <laughs> defecate elsewhere. Anyway, that's anyway that's what the lieutenant is trying to teach them. We're all wishing him the best of luck. <laughs> hey, welcome to the stream, Lego Extreme. Soldiers aren't always very discriminating, but lieutenants are a whole other breed. We do this for the money. But they love their job. That's nuts, right? But hey, don't go around repeating it, alright? I could have a level... Th Sorry, I could have level 99 problems. I just had to close a uh, thing that popped up. Yeah, I don't think they don't seem to like their lieutenants that much. Oh, okay. It's another one of these. Guessing yes, I can't get up on the walls. There's a lot of uh, lieutenant's order. What a pain. Stuck here while I was supposed to be on a date with the waitress from the inn. To get my tunnel. <laughs> I'm gonna guess that prisoner they're talking about is me. Just a guess. Oh, there's a shop. Let's check out the shop. What are you selling? Welcome to Raz's. What would you like to buy? Tea, tea, sugar, whiskey, weapons. Weapons? All the weapons and pieces of armor have been re requisitioned for the war. Come back and see us when it's over. <laughs> huh, alright then. Three gold. Five gold. Two gold. Not bad, not bad. Water bucket. I thought maybe there might be something in the water bucket. Um, sugar. Sugar? That'll be 15G. I don't think I need the sugar right now, so I'm just not gonna, not gonna buy it. Because I've only got 537 gold. I've got a lot of gold. What is this? Okay, a little creepy. Ah, it's the orphanage. Take care of all the children who lost their parents to the war and other disasters. It's a constant, constant commitment every day and every hour. Unfortunately, every minute, too. Okay. Why are they all just standing in a line like that? <laughs> so we can't get out of the gates that way. Hmm. <laughs> I see your joke there. Uh, what happens if you hit a chicken? The answer is you can't. The sorcerers have requisitioned the library again. Since they moved into the city, it's been barely accessible. I do wonder what they're searching for in there. 
Regardless, all this time I've been kept reading uh, the next installment of the Pirate Roberts adventure series. Okay, a little weird. Sorcerers, <laughs> they're both, they're just, they're both silent, aren't they? Yeah, what if I bug them a lot? It appears I cannot bug them enough for them to talk to me. Okay. Guess I can't go this way either. Oh, I can't go this way. Oh, there's a gate shut. You know Professor Yorno? He's the greatest inventor in the, the Empire's ever known. Rumor has it his top secret lab is somewhere in the mountains. Hmm. Secret mountain laboratory, yes. Hmm. More money. So I think we gotta talk to that guy uh, in the little hidden area in the inn. I think that's, that's all we can do at this point. Looking to leave the city? Yes, I should be able to arrange that for you. Got some chicken feed for me? You know, ah, money. Not that I don't trust you, but a little collateral never hurts. Marty, I don't like the looks of this guy. I don't think it's such a great idea to deal with him. The young lady's correct, at least in theory. However, I fear we have no other choice. In the army, we often say that the ends justify the means. I think the the adage applies in the present circumstances. But I shall leave the strategizing to you, Solid Snail. Uh, so, you interested? Yeah. Ah, I think you and me got along. I think you and me are gonna get along just fine. How about a small deposit to facilitate our relations? Let's say around 550G to start off. No. That's up to you. Nobody can say I'm twisting your arm. But if it was me, well, anyways, there's no rush. I've only got 552. Why do I get the feeling that's tailored to be like the closest 50 to what I currently have? Hmm. I don't think there's any way to get more money in this game. What is this? Is this a quest? Tee hee hee, you wish to bring me something in or out of the city. Use transit charges, of course. Ask Mr. Mudwell, he's in the end. Okay, you're just telling me about the other guy. You see two cents to rub together. Yeah, that's about it. There isn't any other way out of the city, I don't think. Pretty sure he's the only option. I can't think of any, like, clever way to get out of the city, so... Pretty sure that guy is our only chance. So we checked every other building. Every other building has been checked. All oh, right, that's the this is the McDonald's thing. Nope. Yeah, no, I think we gotta go talk to the. Uh, Sneaky guy. Okay. So let's go pay this guy all of our money. It's not like we can't get more. Yeah, 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 yeah. Been through all this. I'm hundred fifty G to start out. Yeah. Don't you get your panties in a bunch. You've earned my trust now. So, here's the big deal. Here's the deal. Bring me 150 more, and I'll get you out of here. Oh, you can always refuse, of course. But in that case, I'll peep your deposit. It's only natural. I'm guessing you accept? Yes. I suppose you don't have, or no longer have, the money on you. Am I mistaken? If you want to leave, it looks like you're going to have to work for it. I know. That ugly work. Personally, I try as often as possible to refrain from it. But at times, the ends justify the means. My assistant at the inn should be able to help you find a few odd jobs. In return, you'll have to sleep... 
You'll have to sleep there. I know, I know. It's no five-star accommodations. But just think it tomorrow, when you'll be free, far from the Empire. Good luck. Marty, are you sure that that was a good idea? Well, it was the only idea, so... Yes. Solid snail. I have never... I shall never let you negotiate again. That's a bit harsh, Alex. Although, Marty did fall for it, hook, line, and sinker. But he's trying his best, and that's really what matters. We have lost all of our money, and what's more, we shall have to pay our way out of the city. First of all, that was our money, not yours. And secondly, you don't have to worry, because I'll see to it that we get out of this horrible place. Is that okay with you, Marty? After all, Alex and you are on... the land? Let me make myself useful and earn the money we need. Okay. Thanks for trusting me. Okay, let's get to work. Oh, so now I'm playing as her. Okay, cool. Uh, what can I do for you, miss? I'm looking for some work in order to pay Mr. Mudwell. Some work? Hmm, let me see. Here's a list of available positions. Let me know what jumps out at you. Waitress, maid, childcare, and the above. <laughs> Um, hmm. Huh, let's... I don't know. Yeah, we tried to buy weapons earlier. They're all already owned by the military, so we couldn't buy any weapons. Um... Let's do this one. Are you sure you want to accept made at the Delamere residence? Yes. Ms. Delamere awaits you in her mansion. Just remember, keep your cool. I'm not sure I'm going to like this. Okay, let's go. I'm going to guess that this is the mansion they're talking about. Okay, so who do I have to talk to? Can I guess her, maybe? Honestly, young lady, I find it quite presumptuous of you to speak to me that way. Know that I am destined to inherit my parents' fortune. Therefore, I hardly have time to waste speaking with people of your ilk. Well, I guess that's not them. This is the right mansion, right? This one? Ah, there you are. Finally. Yeah, this is the one. You've barely begun, there. you're already behind on your work. And what in heaven's name is that you're wearing? A flagrant abuse of aesthetic sense. Start by putting this on. I'm not spinning the character, the game is doing that. Ah, yep, yeah, it's not one coming. What? What the heck is this get up? Don't you dare speak to me with that tone. You accepted the position, didn't you? Then do as you're told. It's your uniform. If it's not to your liking, you know where the door is. I see that you've come to your senses. Now go serve my dear husband his tea. Do I have that? I assume I have that. I would love a cup of tea, but there's none left. Be a dear and go fetch some at Miss Raza's shop, would you? Here, you can keep the change. Hey, 40. Well, 45. I already had five. So I just gotta do a quick fetch quest. Oh, nope, it's right here. They're gonna ask for tea and sugar, aren't they? Uh, tea. That'll be 25G. Yep. You got flavored tea. It smells really nice. Thank you. Okay. So we got the tea, but I'm pretty sure all we got was tea leaves, not actually tea. Ah, thank you for the tea. Oh, what a shame. I'm all out of sugar. Yep, I knew it. Would you be so kind as to get some? Thank you. I gotta go back out and I gotta go get the sugar. You should have just told me to get the sugar the first time.
Yep, I'm back. It's been two minutes. I eat sugar. 15G. Yep. So that uses up exactly 40. So when they said keep the change, they were like, no, don't. There is no change. It is exactly how much money you need. You will have no change. Ah, thank you for the tea. And you remembered the sugar. You told me to... Mm. Thanks, that's very kind of you. Glug, glug, glug. That was quite good. It was a bit bland. I'm certain you can do better. Be a dear and fetch me some more. And do keep the change. Gotta go get another cup. Tea and sugar, probably. Tea. 25 Sugar Oh wait, I'll bet you I gotta buy whiskey instead of sugar What you wanna bet? That's the, that's the little thing here If he asks me to do it again, we'll do whiskey Thank you for the tea. You remembered the sugar. Thanks. That's very kind of you. Glug, glug, glug. That was quite good. It was a bit bland. I'm certain I can do better. Be a dear and fetch me some more to keep the change. Yeah. Okay. We're going to put whiskey in it this time. So long as whiskey costs 15. 15G. Yep. Okay. And whiskey. There we go. Let's see what this does. You got old whiskey. Please drink responsibly. <laughs> ah, thank you for the tea, huh? Some whiskey, too. Not a bad idea. Just don't say a word to my wife. And he's asleep. Lucky charm. In my safe. Oh. Another collection of bathrooms from the little luxury hotels. Nope. There's a safe somewhere? I think I need more information from that guy. Lucky charm in my safe. Now, still just the same. <laughs> <laughs> oh boy. Yeah, no, okay. Here, no. Oh, can't get around you. What about here? How to spend your money when you have too much by Bill G. I'll figure that <laughs> A 64 piece tea set Too expensive to use every day It's brand new Goodness Which one bet that's the safe The new made rate My dad hides his treasure in a safe in the house But I wouldn't ever let you find it <laughs> Not even if you bring me my favorite candy Okay so we gotta find candy eh Got a look at other chests. Some socks. That's not awful rife. Okay, what about over here? Hundreds of plastic toys. What's the point? All you need is one game console. <laughs> a set of bolts, nuts, screws, and diagrams for IKEA furniture. <laughs> Why on earth would they keep that stuff? Uh, I'll be honest, I probably would too. Uh, the, the missus is very demanding when, when it comes to her colors. I admit. I don't well understand what she wants. Surely it's because I don't know anything about art. Yeah? What about you? I hate my family. They're snobs who climb the social ladder on the back of big business. All they do is exploit people by stealing the added value of their hard labor. Ooh. One day when I grow up, I'll be a revolutionary. An interesting idea. Okay. Or maybe I'll travel around the world. Haven't really decided yet. <laughs> Ethics, a matter of perspective. 
Okay. I got one G. Better than nothing. It's empty. Why is there one G? Okay, can't grab weapons from that or that. Pretty sure I checked this already. Yep. I'll talk to you, honestly, young lady. Da, 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 da. Nothing there. So I gotta go find candy. Where do I go find candy? Does anyone remember where we could get candy? Hmm. No. Don't think so. Oh, wait. Maybe the orphanage? Can we get candy from... No. Might as well. Redhead girl is very kind. Yes, yes, ask her. We have great fun together. Okay. I'm a sweet girl, right? Huh? Yes? What? I can't hear you. <laughs> Say I'm sweet. Say it. Yes. Okay. I'm... Th I'm... Th okay, no. Nothing there. Hungry, when do we eat? Uh, I'm bored, wanna play a game? No. I'm resting for a second. Oh, I do hope they leave me alone. <laughs> okay. Found 3G. Not bad, not bad. It's empty. Hmm. Do you have... No? Okay. Where do I get candy? Where would I be able to get candy? Surely I can't buy candy here. Oh, wait. I can buy sugar. Wait, I don't have 15G. Right? No, I don't have 15G. Have I... No? Nothing. <laughs> okay... Can I buy candy across the shelf here, or...? Yes. Okay, I didn't... Didn't expect to just do that. Here's a list of available positions, let me know. Oh, so I gotta pick again. Um... We're doing pretty good at that made one. Let's try that again. Yes. I want to be an astronaut. Sorry, we already picked uh, the other one. I'm gonna try and figure out that the candy quest. Or maybe I need to do a different one first. Actually, that makes sense. Maybe I get the candy from a different event. That makes sense, yeah, hold on. Uh, yeah. Okay, now we'll do waitress. Waitress, yes. Just remember, don't eat anything there. Last time I volunteered. Mentos should be... Menos should be doing this kind of thing. Okay. So there's McDonald's. Okay, so how does this minigame work? I assume it's going to be a minigame. Uh, start to serve. Oh, are you the new waitress? Perfect. You're, you're the right time. We'll start serving food real soon. Do you want me to explain what you have to do? Yes. You see, it's super easy. By watching closely, you'll see that the mood of the customer is in. Customers come in and sit down. You have to give them time to choose a meal without bothering them. Then they'll want to place their order. After that, you just come see me to get the meal before bringing it to them. Don't get the order wrong, though. Next, the customers eat their meal. They'll take a different amount of time for each person. Just don't bother them while they're eating. Most of them really hate that. Once they're finished, they'll wait to pay for their food. They'll want to pay for their food quickly before leaving. Go to them fast so they don't leave without paying. Try to take a few orders at the same time before bringing out the meals. The customers like that better. That said, you can only serve one meal at a time. Well, that's it. Easy as pie, right? Do you want me to repeat the instructions? No. Alright, we are officially open. Oh, 
Okay, so those will change to question marks, eh? Yeah, this does sound like it can go wrong very quickly and easily. Salad, okay. And you. Today's special. So today's special on top, salad on the bottom. I need, I need a salad. Go a salad. Thanks, that was quick. And today's special. Today's special. There we go, today's special. There we go. I got this. And there you go. That's quick. Nope. Enjoy the meal, thanks. No one else is in here right now, so I can just stand there. Oh, here comes two more. Oh, this one wants to pay. I enjoyed the meal, thanks. Oh, this one wants to order, and so is the other one. Chef's pie, please. Okay. The chef's pie. No, chef's pie. Give you that. Go over here. Grab your order. Today's special. Okay. I need today's special. There we go. That was quick. This person now wants theirs. On top, the big walk. And on bottom. Yes. Today's special. Be quick about it. Okay. Sorry. I accidentally clicked through your dialogue. Uh. Special on the bottom. I assume I need to. Like, yeah, 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 yeah. Give me a second. Okay, you want to pay? There you go. Wasn't bad. Just go. Yeah, 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 yeah. And I need the big walk. Thank you. Gosh darn it. This person's now unhappy. Okay. There's a lot of you now. Oh, you want to order? Okay. Chef's pie. Big walk. Not big walk. Go. And chef's pie. getting pretty difficult. Today's special, okay. They need more waitresses. Thank you. Thank you. Chef's pie, okay. You all over here. Chef's pie again. Okay. Ah. I need to be able to run faster. Big walk. Okay. See, today's special? Yeah, okay. Uh, today's special. Bring that out. Bring it here. Give it to you. I want, uh, let's see. Today's special, okay. And today's special. There you go. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm coming over here. Never coming back here again. Okay, bye. See ya. <laughs> With the meal. Okay, what is it you want? Today's special. There you go. Uh, it's about to leave. Well, too bad. Here's your food. Eat. Hey, yay, yay. That was crazy, and I don't think there's any way I could have done that better because I can only carry one dish at a time. What place makes their plates so big that they can only carry one at a time? Never 
coming here again. Okay, cool. Bye. <laughs> but hey, nobody left without eating or paying, so I'd consider that a success. Do I go talk to the guy at the counter now? Nice, we're done for today. We waited on 15 customers, and no one left without eating or paying. The average customer satisfaction was 5.9, which is not bad. Here are your wages. Feel free to come back and work for us. 95, that's pretty good. Thanks for helping out. Okay. Let's just do that again. That'll, that was, oh, oh, it's already night. What a day, it's about time I head back to the inn. Okay, so that was the only like properly completed mission. Good to know. Uh, will you be staying? Yes. Okay, so can we just do that one again or do we need a different quest? Here's a list of available positions. Ah, we can't do the same one twice. Okay, so there must be some way to complete this maid job. Ah, uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Walk through in, just that, just that, 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 okay. We already talked to her, so we don't need to read through her own bit of dialogue again. I'm positive those wretched sorcerers are behind all this. Why did the Emperor call on them to battle the demons? Huh, okay. Hey, money. All right, guess we gotta go put on the outfit, eh? Yep, okay. There's no skipping this animation. There we go. Okay, so let's go talk to this guy. He'll give us money to get him tea and whiskey. Though we could just take his money and run with it. We got we got 150 now. <laughs> hmm. We could. <laughs> Are you following me or? No, it's just standing in your way. Okay. No, there's probably some way of of grabbing that item in the safe. It's probably worth more. Tea. Yeah. Da, 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 da. And whiskey. Da, 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 da. Okay, now let's do the rest of this quest properly this time. Let me bring this up, give it to you. To the tea. Get some whiskey too, not a bad idea. Sleeping. I talk to you again. You're the only person I would talk to a second time. Fall asleep. Very good, my dear. You have done well. <laughs> On to more serious matters. Why do you think I need you? Clean up the house, look after children, serve, and... I don't know what that is. What are you on about? <laughs> Clean the house? Of course not. I worry for that. Why do you think I need you? Look after the children? Of course not. I have Maria for that. <laughs> Why do you think I need you? Sir, this? Of course not. I have Maria for that. Why do you think? What are you on about? I shouldn't be surprised. You do seem to be quite simple minded. You don't even know that the primary task of a maid is to spread gossip. <laughs> Should be obvious. But let's move on to the task at hand. Rumor mongers are claiming that the game Be a Millionaire, which my husband has won several times, is rigged. We must quash these rumors quickly. Naturally, the best way to do so is to spread a counter rumor. We must make haste, every minute counts. Go spread the rumor to the, in the city immediately. Your reward will be dependent on how many people you convince. Ay, ay. Oh, goodness, we're on a timer. Hey, you. Hey, you. What? Everyone who wins to be a millionaire had a chance to win? Yes, I suppose that's true. And you. Okay, so I, I, there's no like convincing them. It's literally just say the thing and they'll, they'll believe you. Okay. 
Okay, so that's like four pretty easily. Ooh, I'll do the inn. There's tons of people in the inn. But that outfit, this is, this, but why, what the heck are you, what are you talking about? My efforts have finally paid off. Here is a gift. What? Candy! If you guys see me, miracles do happen. Oh well, another drinking keeper. What the heck are you talking about? That way. Okay, so yeah, this is all I've got to do is talk to a bunch of people. I don't think the quest giver will uh, be able to be convinced. I'm gonna assume that I've convinced the rat. <laughs> I'm going to assume that I have convinced the rat. Look at it that way. And you. What did you ask for? Are you guys. Okay, yeah, you guys aren't still in your argument. I can convince you as well. Okay. I'm pretty sure I can get nearly everyone in this town. You. A cat one. <laughs> Bet you I can convince you too. Okay, can't convince you then. That makes sense. Right here, convince this grandma. Okay, can't convince you either. Good to know. Convince these soldiers as well. Can't go in there. Convince you, I'm sure. Yep. Okay. Well, let me just go. I need to go talk to other people. Uh, yeah, that clock is how long I've got to convince as many people in town as possible. Aha! Can I convince all these kids too? Yeah, I can. There we go. <laughs> I'd convince the chickens, but I don't think I can do that. seconds I can get at least two more guys I think ah darn it I just missed that guy there's one second for getting that guy too oh, I don't have my melee attack when I'm wearing this outfit interesting makes sense Okay, well I got the candy, so that that worked. You convinced 31 people. Well, that's something. Here's your reward: 165 dollars. <laughs> nice. Now I can go get the thing for the safe too. Uh, here's candy. Candy that's been licked. Well, it's candy. <laughs> well, this is the safe, I'm guessing. Got the lucky charm. I'm sure this will bring me luck in the game. Wait. Okay. Alright, so I think that... Oh, it's already night. What time of day? Okay, yeah. So we've, we've done that. We've got enough money to do the thing. To get out of here. But I'd like to do that last side quest. Yes, I'll be staying. Let's see what the childcare side quest entails. I have no idea what it will entail, but might as well play it. Just for the heck of it. Childcare. You sure you want to access childcare? Yeah. Go to the orphanage, they'll tell you what you need to do. Just remember, try not to go crazy. Okay. Hello. Welcome to the Genova Orphanage. We take care of all children who lost parents in the disasters. Works every man, too. Okay. Let's 
This is the orphanage, right? Oh, you're the new girl. You're a lifesaver. Well, I suppose you know what to do. I'll leave you to take care of them then. Good luck. Wait, what? No, you didn't tell me. I'm free! Uh. Hi? Hi, <laughs> kitties. Do you want to play? Let's play hide and seek. Uh oh. Sweet. You're awesome. Now you're it. I know the best hiding place ever. Oh. Now I gotta go find them. Okay. This shouldn't be too hard. I don't think. Huh. Bring your sword. I can still melee, but I don't have a sword as this character. This character just melee attacks. Gonna see if I can find any of them just hiding outside. Okay. <laughs> Well, I guess they must be hiding indoors. Because I can't find them outdoors. Alright, let's check the armory. You guys make sure to tell me if you happen to see them and I miss them, alright? Yeah. Oh, yeah, there is one in the courtyard. Good spot, good spot. Can you check the shop while I walk by? It's empty, it's empty. Don't know, maybe a kid climbed in there. That's why I was checking those. <coughs> Found you. Do you have superpowers or something? No, I can just see over over rooftops. That's all. <laughs> ha! Found you. I had the best hiding place ever. Yes, out in the open. The best hiding place. Okay, so it seems that they're definitely in buildings. Oh, there's one. Anybody in here? Yeah, here's one. Oh no, how'd you find me? I don't know. Is he just standing in a fast food restaurant? You're really good at this, ma'am. Anyone in Grandma's house? Nope, nobody's hiding in Grandma's house. Can't go out that way. Is one of them hiding in the rich man's mansion? Yep, yep they are. Found you. I know you're a cheater. I am not. Yeah, of course. I would I totally agree with you there, Lego. 100 percent would hide in grandma's house. There we go, got you all. Come back and see us every day, you know. <laughs> Thank you, ma'am. Next time you won't find me. You're so cool. I'll get you for that. For what? For finding you? Are you okay? How did it go? You're well behaved, I hope. Uh, yeah. Mostly. Here we go again. But I have to say, I've missed them. Here's this for you. Ooh, $80. Nice. For your help, feel free to come back. 
It's already night. What a day. What a day. There we go. So we already got like $300. Nice. Alright, so let's go talk to our conniving friend. Actually, I'm just going to see if there are any other jobs available. Because finished all, all those odd jobs already? You can always do them again if you like. Here's a list of available positions. No, thank you. I understand. Let me know if you, where you decide to work. Okay, I got your money. So, do you hear the 150G? Yes. Ah, congratulations. Looks like you worked hard. I suppose you want to get going as soon as possible, right? Here, take this key. You can use it to leave through the sewers. No need to thank me. Your financial contribution is plenty thanks enough. The key to the sewers. Wait, weren't we in the sewers already? We made it. We're finally getting out of this city. Thank you, Miss... So ah, I always forget the pronunciation. Serena. Or, sorry. Sorry, that's it. Thanks to you, I shall see my son again. And perhaps there is still time to save my people. Don't mention it, Alex. It's natural to help... To help one another when you share. Oh, when you share the same fate. There we go. The same fate? We demons do not believe in fate. Only in free will. Sorry, I didn't mean to offend you. It's just a figure of speech. There's no harm done. I regret getting carried away. Awkward silence. Uh, Marty? I think it's time you take the lead in our little expedition. Let's go. Okay. Wait. Here, take this. A little keepsake from me. With thanks from the house. What I get? A loyalty badge. This kind of <laughs> the kind of item that is completely useless. Aha. To sleep for you, that'll be 50g. Hey, no, okay. So, I'm pretty sure like the sewers are over here and it's where we came out of, but okay, game. If you say there's another, ah, there's another way out. Key to the sewers, bingo, and we're out, sort of. Hey, extra money, perfect. Oh, not that much extra money. I hope I'm not the only one who recognized that, uh, that question mark block. Nice. There we go. What is this? This is my treasure. Do not touch, Mr. Mudwell. Hey! My money! My one- my $550 from earlier! Perfect! Mr. Mudwell thought he was clever. I found my money! Oh, hey, we're out. That was easy. Free at last! So, Marty, what do we do now? Go home, follow Alex, how about a snack? Look for, look for a megalith, kill mobs and gain XP. <laughs> <laughs> uh, um... I don't know. I think we should help Alex find his son. I've got nothing against him. But that seems dangerous. So, what do you say, Marty? Oh, okay, so we can't do that. Uh, kill mobs and gain XP. No way! We can farm mobs later after we progress more in the story. <laughs> so, what do you say, Marty? Uh, probably look for a megalith. Of course! That's it! An excellent idea! I don't know exactly how we ended up here, but it's somehow connected to the megalith. If we find one, Maybe we can go home. Ah, oh, we need to hurry. My father's going to worry. Believe me, I think we will... When we get back, he'll... We'll found out we've been gone for like two seconds. Although, come to think of it, if the Megalith does allow us to time travel... Oh, right, we did figure that out in the end, didn't we? He's not even born yet. Yeah, so if we go back to before we left... Ah! <laughs> thinking of it... Thinking in four dimensions hurts my brain. 
I do not quite grasp your conundrum, but if it's a megalith you seek, you'll find one north of my father's encampment. Really? You hear that, Marty? That's our ticket home! We'll go with you, Alex. I mean, if you don't mind. The pleasure is mine, Miss Saria. However, I do not know whether we shall reach my father's camp. Unharmed. If the rumors are to be believed, uh, Main Mainery Bridge was taken by the Empire. But perhaps we can cross it. Perhaps we can cross it. Let us head north. We shall decide once we get there. Your strength will be of great use, Solid Snail. I really should have picked a less weird name. Off we go! Off we go, I guess. Off the top of the screen? Yes, off the top of the screen. Ah, okay. Wow, where, where are we? Uh... Hey, do you happen to know anything about the Dread Pirate Roberts? The Empire is currently tied up with the war against the demons, but sooner or later we'll catch him and he'll pay for his misdeeds. If only we knew what he looked like. <laughs> That's gonna make things a little harder, isn't it? Some pirates have set up on the nearby island. Must be nice being a pirate, sailing the seas, going wherever the wind takes you. Oh. Would... Okay. Oh, would that I were a few years younger. Okay. What? I'm not gonna ask who are you. What are you? <laughs> Fear that one day my Prince Triangle will take me away on a beautiful white steed. Uh, could you be him? By the look on her face, I don't think Marty is the one. <laughs> okay, is there nothing else to do here? Break some bushes. Okay, nothing here. Nothing up there. And something down here. Ha ha ha! This way, break this bush, down this way. Go ah, there it is. It's a collectible star. Nice. Ah, so I can't go off the bottom of the screen. Good to know. Just tried to do that. Did not work. Did not do anything actually. All right, let's leave this way. Ooh. Ah, so there's the bridge that they were talking about. What is this? A clearing. Just a random clearing, eh? Nothing... Nothing weird about this clearing, no? No? Ah, there's a bridge behind this clearing. Oh, hi. Welcome! Did you come for the treasure hunt? Sure. <laughs> it's simple. You can cut up to four bushes of your choice. My treasure is hidden in one of them. Oh, and the gardening fee is 10G. Sure, why not? Let's go! So I can cut any four bushes, eh? Ah, oh, there's a lot of bushes here. Ah, oh, there's a lot of bushes here. Huh. Man, there's a... Uh, there's... Oh, come on! There are so many bushes! bushes not this time yeah no we're not doing that there's way too many bushes I'm not mm -mm, nope nope if there's a solution to that and it's like a puzzle then sure fine but I'm not just gonna start trying to chop those all willy-nilly uh, can you change it to 3d no not yet we are not in that era we are still in the 2d era Ooh, a cave in the cave. Heffa's smith. Oh, a smithy. Oh, hey. Sounds like someone's hard at work smithing. I don't know. Huh. 
Hello. You waste your time bothering me as I have no weapons for sale. You see, I only fashion the most exceptional of weapons. But such arms can only be forged with orc and ore. I have orc and ore. You dug up some orc and... Oh, let me forgive you. Let me forge you an item with that. What would you like to make? Ooh. I like the sound of the chest plate. Yeah. You want me to forge orc and armor? To make that item, I'll need to use five pieces of orc and ore. All right. Yes, but I only have one. I'm afraid you don't have enough orc. But don't worry, I have patience in, sp in spades. Come back once you find more. Yeah, yeah. Have some. How about a sword then? Maybe boots that make me run faster, I think. Yeah, sword. Sword, I will need to use four pieces. Yes? I'm afraid you don't have enough. How much do I have? Two. Okay. Yeah, we'll come back when we got more. Hey, I recognize that. <laughs> Oh, and up on the wall. Okay, hold on. There's a few references here. So right here, we've got a Minecraft crafting bench. I'm sure a lot of people recognize that. But due to the pixelation, you might not recognize up on the wall, that top sword all the way at the top. That's the master sword. <laughs> That's awesome. That's so cool. Hey, another piece of orc and ore. So we've got three pieces now. We need four port four horses. We need four pieces for a sword. Yeah. I'm, just, I'm assuming we can't break any of this with this guy. Nah. So yeah, we need four pieces for a sword and five pieces for a chest plate. It's unknown what we need for the other two, but it's probably like two and three. Let's see what's down this way. Ooh, a very high peak. Windy Valley. I'm probably gonna have to come back to all of these places some other time, but... I just like to explore them now, see what's see what's up. Hmm. Yeah, it doesn't seem like anything's up here. Just a valley. Dun, 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 Laboratory. Really? I would love if the location was called Secret Laboratory. It's like, Kate, why do I know where it is then? Go. Ooh, big, weird looking door. Weird looking door. What is her special ability? Right, that's it. Okay, nothing there, I guess. We'll go check those mountains down at the bottom, and then that's it. Then we'll head up to the to the bridge. In here? No, nope, we can, oh wait, Grizzly Pass. Oh, we can just pass right through. So we can go back to that camp if we wanted to. I don't think anything's changed. It's not like we've been gone that long. Oh, there's some blue trees over there. Interesting. Alright, let's head to that bridge then. Wait, this looks suspicious. Okay, it's not, I guess. Alright, let's go up to those purple trees. Dorgold Plains, Demonia, and Genovic City. 
more enemies, which means more XP. There we go. The Empire has deployed troops in enemy territory, so civilians aren't allowed past this point. Okay, I bet I can find a way around. Sorry, no one's allowed to cross this bridge at this time. I don't feel very safe here. Between the demons in the north and that big boulder on my left, that's in danger of falling. In the name of the Empire, I command you to stop. I've always wanted to say that. Wonder if I just... Oh! Everybody run! Well, is going to fall this way. Scatter! I feel like the Marty, let's make haste and cross the bridge. Run, 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 run. It's gonna collapse the bridge, isn't it? Ah, nope, just gonna block it. Alright, up to the top, and we're out here now. So we can go into the very corrupted looking woods. That's about it. <laughs> into the very corrupted looking woods. Haunted forest. Yes, please. Very spooky. Burr. This place gives me goosebumps. I wouldn't want to spend my vacation here. We call it the haunted forest. Haunted? I hate ghosts! Are you not aware that ghosts do not exist, Miss Soria? <laughs> Did you hear that? Marty, protect me! Solid Snail, protect us! Wait, you're the- Dude, you're the strong man here. Ah, ghosts is- Ghosts is- eh. Ghost is- Ghosts exist! Ghosts. Cackling. You are not welcome here, Master Jatai. Jatai? Yeah, I think it's Jatai. Told us not to let you through. Turn back or die. Spooky. Let's turn back, shall we? There must be another way to reach my father's encampment. At least I hope so. No way. First off, those ghosts didn't look so tough. And second, Marty and I are really in a hurry to get back home. So are you with me, Marty? Should we move forward? Yes. Well, well, hmm. After you, in that case. Tee hee hee. I think we just found his weakness, Marty. Ghosts. Oh, piano solo. Zombies! Die, zombie! Dropkick. <laughs> Ow. Okay. Ow. Okay, I thought I was being clever, but thanks, game, for showing me I wasn't. Zombie slimes. Okay, weird. Level up. Marty has reached level nine. Extra four health. Finally, a save point. Uh, gravestone. Oh! Ghost. <laughs> no way are you walking out of here.
Gotcha. These guys look like little puddles of water until I get close, eh? Huh? Interesting. some health. Hey, that, I think this is health. Yeah, there we go, full health. Perfect. What is this? Edge of the forest. Perfect! Attack! Flail sword wildly! I want whatever secret stuff is down here. that until it's actually turned on. There's like three of these in here. Goodness. What about down this way? Goodness, there's a lot of projectiles in here. best at this whole dodging projectiles thing. There's a ghost. Ha, well that wasn't too hard. Save point. Uh, hi. Let's not fight you right now. I believe there's another patch of ghosts up north that I need to take care of. Be right back. Ah, oh, so close to leveling up again. Guess we're gonna level up mid-battle. Oh. Ah, I see. Bingo. Level up. Plus one damage. Cool. Ow. You're supposed to get knocked back when I do that. There you go. else. Okay, just some bushes over here. There we go. Alright. So 
So let's go fight that big lizard thing. Or talk to it. I don't know. Maybe we can just talk our way out of this fight. I doubt it, though. Hi. So you're the intruders who dared enter my forest. This forest belongs to the king of Demonia. Though it lies near the Empire, it is clearly on our territory. Humans, demons, you're all the same, aren't you? Killing each other over a line drawn on a map. Well, this forest is mine, because me and my ghost friends live here. Those ghosts are your friends? Yes, absolutely. They entertain me whenever I like. Uh, sounds more like servants than actual friends. Actual friends? And what would you know about it, humans? If you think you're so special, humans, find my ghosts. You'll not get through this forest without catching them. <laughs> you still have two more to find. Poor guardian, he doesn't know what it's like to have a friend. I must say, I do not like the looks of this place. Okay, so apparently we need to find two more. So if we had just come to him a little later, we would have actually had them all. Oh well. So I'm gonna guess we leave out the top. Yeah, here we go. Okay, so there's no leaving that way until we have all of the, uh, all the ghosts. So I guess there must be more this way? Ah, hey, here we go. Here's something. That's just the way out. Cash time. Okay, well we found this. What is this? A star? Green goop. More green goop. Okay, well, here's another ghost. Okay, that's another one. One left, I guess, somewhere. Terrifying Lilo on else. Perfect. A healing station. So I wonder if there's another one of these ghosts hidden back here. Hmm. No, but there is something back there. So I need to find a way over and around. Yeah, the music is really good, I gotta be honest. It's so good. Also, welcome back to the stream, Jungle Dragon.
Just walking all the way to the next ghost, or where I assume the next ghost is. I could be wrong, but I'm pretty sure I'm right. Aha, there we go. That's what I thought. Oh, the last one's in the water. Hmm. Okay, well, let's see what's down here first. Okay. There's another way. Yeah, I know I'm on low health. Oh. Oh, okay, so now I filled the whole area with water. serve as air bubbles. I did wonder the positioning of some of these things, because I was like, why would they just be hovering in the air like that? Doesn't make a lot of sense. There we go. Some more green goop. So now that we've drained the lake, we should be able to fight the ghost. Hey, there we go. I've, I've got to assume the green goop's good for something at some point. Ow. There we go, that's six out of six. Let's head back up. Much easier. So much easier than how I was doing it. There we go. I have found all of your ghost friends, servants, whatever you wish to call them. If you think you're so special, humans, find my ghosts. You'll not get through this forest without catching them all. Nah. <laughs> what? Wait. What? You found all my ghosts? Um, then, as promised, I'll let you leave the forest. But, who will I play with now? 
Go away and never come back. Never come again. He'll be all alone here. I couldn't take that. Let us journey on, Salt Snail. My father's camp is not much farther. Okay. Bye! I really thought I'd have to fight you, but okay. Ow. I was gonna say I'm a master at dodging projectiles and then I got hit by the last one. Running, 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 and smash. Oh, wow, you're not dead. That's impressive, you know? That kind of resilience is impressive. Save point. Exit point. Humans! How did they find our camp? Quick, grab them! We can't let them escape! Wait. Lord Alex? You're alive! The king thought you'd, you lost forever after the sorcerers captured you. These humans helped me escape Genova. They are my guests. No harm must come to them. Humans? Helped you? Believe it or not, they did. <clears throat> Take me to my father. I must speak with him at once. And inform my son that I have returned. Yes, Lord Alex. Lord Alex? I will explain everything later. I must see my father before it is too late. Thank you again for your help. Okie dokie! Hi. Hey. You're lucky, human. How some human like you fooled Lord Alex, that I do not know, but I've got my eye on you. Humans in the Demon King's camp? Now I've seen it all. Don't touch anything. Nice little town they got here. Camp, whatever. You should probably follow Lord Alex and see what's happening, but since you seem so interested in the lives of demon soldiers here, I'll tell you about my own. I was born 60 years ago, which makes me fairly young for a demon. Oh, goodness. Now, you know, my childhood... <laughs> Nothing too serious, fairly routine, you know. Humans and demons have never really gotten along, which reminds me that I once had a human friend. Doesn't like you at all. Okay, wow. Okay, really, this... Oh, wow, okay, this is a lot. I didn't exactly... Okay, I, I don't need your whole life story. Oh, goodness. Uh, that... Uh, okay. Let's do another thing. Okay, cool. I really, I was expecting just a short chat. I didn't expect all that. Okay, so I guess this is the, the place. Father, I've returned. Alex, my son. I thought I had lost you. When the Empire soldiers joined forces with the sorcerers and attacked us out of nowhere, despite our ten-year truce, you were the one who stepped in and allowed us to escape. I only did my duty as a general of our people's army. I had to protect you. You did your duty. I'll grant you that. The current situation is dire. Following the surprise attack by the Empire's forces, we were separated from the rest of the army. I have been trying to rally our troops from here, but we're too far behind. The sorcerer's power is too great. Father, we must fight. I know, but things are off to a bad start. I fear Demonia will be attacked before we can reach and defend it. After centuries of coexistence, it seems the humans have now decided 
to exterminate us. We cannot let that happen. And not all humans are evil. I've learned that during my stay in Genova. I'm glad that you've made friends in these dark times. Father, there's something else. The Empire. They've built something they call the Weapon. I have yet to identify its energy source, but it has frightening power. If they ever use it against us, our entire kingdom would be wiped off the map. I'd heard stories about this weapon, but I did not think... If what you say is true, we must stop them from using it. I will not leave my people to die. Father. Ah, it's the, it's the son. Dad! Oh, wow, he is small. Dad, you came back. I knew you were alive. Reno, my son. Forgive me. My absence must have caused you much grief. Not one bit. I didn't even cry. I knew my dad was the strongest of all. <laughs> yes, your father is very strong indeed. He killed all those mean humans and came home. Yeah! Are those humans your prisoners, Dad? <laughs> no, those are nice humans. I would even call them my friends. Nice humans? But there are no nice humans! <laughs> you shall see when you grow up. I hope you too will have human friends. Never! <laughs> <laughs> Miss Zarya, Solid Snail, forgive him. He is but a child, and to him all humans are the enemy. I understand. But if human children and demon children all believe the myths, can there ever be peace between our two peoples? Hmm. I almost forgot. You did not come here to listen to these stories. I will take you to the Magalith. It's north of the encampment on the bluff. He didn't answer my question. Onward! I guess. I believe he said north of the camp, so yeah. Ooh, weapon shop? Any friends of Lord Alex is a friend of mine. What do you need? Bye. Bronze sword, bronze armor. Uh, yes. Buy a bronze sword for 200G? Yes. Well, then buy some bronze armor. It looks nice, but dang, it's heavy. Well, that is bronze. Buy bronze armor for 250G? Yes. Bronze armor. Whenever you take it off, you'll be able to jump 10 feet in the air. <laughs> oh, I can sell the old sword. Ah, I have an infinite inventory space and I don't need money, so... No need. Come back anytime. Any other shops around here? I don't want to miss the opportunity to purchase merchandise. Looks like I have used all my opportunities to purchase merchandise. What's back here? Sneaky, sneaky. Nothing. <laughs> Just money. It is. It's not glowing though. Ooh, nice sunset. Here is the megalith I spoke of. That's definitely a megalith. It has the same symbols etched into it as the one that brought us here. But then, I don't know how to activate it. Activate it? Megaliths are nothing more than monuments of a, the ancient Magi civilization. And they do not serve any purpose. That doesn't sound good. What was that? Dead! It's the Empire! The sorcerers are attacking the camp! Well, that was quick. What? 
How in the world did they find us? Find them! No members of the Demorian royal family must get away! It's a good thing I just bought a new sword. Ah, there you are! The Great Magus! Run away, son! Run! Alex, Demonia, son of King Arthas, general and heir to the throne. I have you to thank for this. Me? No. How did you... How did I follow you? Oh, it wasn't that hard, although I didn't think you'd make it through the haunted forest. But when you did survive, all it took to track you down was guessing where you would exit from. And here I am. What? What have I done? This is all my fault. Oh, don't fret now. You won't have to despair much longer. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Uh, spirit thingy. That's a problem. Oh, portal. Ah! So long. Well, that was your fault, dude. You can't blame us for that. That was your fireball. They disappeared. How could that be? Find them. They can't be very far. Oh, I think we are very far. Forward or backward, I have no clue, but we are very far away. <laughs> oh, goodness. We're in 3D now. <laughs> How many years have we teleported that we're now in three dimensions? <laughs> hmm. Hello! Well, what the heck were you doing here? You weren't taking advantage of my being unconscious. Nope, just trying to wake you up. Where are we anyway? The Megalith. It activated when the Sorcerer destroyed it. That means we're back home. Well, I hope I have this... Well, I hope. I have this strange feeling of volume. Just like that day I ate too much chocolate, but without the stomach ache. Don't you have the same feeling, Marty? Yes. It's odd. None of us had chocolate mousse. Anyway, enough about this chocolate mousse thing. That megalith will no longer work. Well, he's up. Where have the sorcerers gone? And my son, how is he? Alex? Actually, it's a bit complicated. Where should I begin? What do you mean, complicated? They're all dead, is that it? Well, hold on, let me explain. This isn't gonna be easy. We're... We're not in the same time as before. Marty and me come from the present. I mean, for you, it's the future, but to us, your present is our past. I'm not sure I'm being very clear. I did not understand a thing. They're all dead. Is that what you're trying to tell me? In a way, yes. Or maybe they're just older. I refuse to continue this conversation. I must find my son and save my father. I think I'm gonna need a new approach. Yeah, probably. We can't leave him alone, Marty. Okay, now we're in 3D for the next 14 minutes until the live stream ends. Oh. Well, that wasn't there before. Alex? In the year 950 of our Lord, 
here were the demons vanquished by Emperor Lothar and his troops. The inscription on this statue. How is this possible? That's what I was trying to explain, Alex. The Megalith. We traveled through time. Marty and I come from the year 999, almost 50 years after the demons were defeated. An accident led us to your time and the Empire captured us. And, and when the great Magnus destroyed the Megalith, something came out of it. I think that thing brought us here. I really wish we'd return home, but I get the feeling we're in a different time period. All of this seems impossible. And yet, this statue. But why? What is the meaning of our lives in it? What is the meaning of our lives if everything's already written? I don't understand it much myself, but look at Marty. He continues to fight, no matter what. At first, I was terrified at the thought of being lost. But while following Marty, I began to understand life's just right now, this very moment, whatever you happen to be. I don't know if the past has already happened or if the future can be changed, but I know I exist right here, right now. It's just me in the here and now. And Marty is the one who made me realize that. So I'm not afraid anymore. Although rats and mushrooms still do it, of course. I'm not convinced. My people have been conquered. And I shouldn't be here. My son. What has become of him? Instead of asking ourselves all these questions, we'd be better off looking for another Megalith. If we are able to go back to the past, then you should be able to return to your own time. Let's focus on that instead of dwelling on questions that we can't answer. Hey, don't sound... Hey, don't I sound like an adult, Marty? Tee hee 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 hee. I don't know if we can be as strong as Solid Snail or Miss Zarya. But I'll do my best. So what does the world look like now? Hi, achievement get to the future. So there's some court, some sort of thing up there. We got a little camp down here. Looks like they finally unlocked that bridge. Bibby's tent. Who's Bibby? Oh wow. It's very spooky. Hi. Ah, what a fine young man you are. Folks call me Granny Bibby, but I've got the heart of a young woman. Besides, I'm not really that old. So anyways, feel free to invite me out some evening. <laughs> Go out for potions. Maybe more if you feel like a spark. Hey, speaking of potions, what can I do for you, darling? Oh, okay, so this is where I can get knocked out guys back up. Cool. I hope you brought me the good stuff. Oh, so I can make potions. Oh, shoot. I don't want to make potions. What can I do for ya? Nothing right now. See you soon. She's creepy. That tree's probably creepier, though. Okay, let's go check out this thing over here, too. Looks kind of cool. Oh, back into the haunted forest. Cool. What does it look like now? Oh, there are people here. If you bump into the boss, don't judge him by his appearance. Some people call him a monster, but that's because they don't know him. And anyways, he takes good care of us. Without him, we'd just be run-of-the-mill thieves. Oh, thieves guild, huh? Ah, a new recruit? Don't worry. This job's real easy. We just find stuff that's banned in the capital and resell it to people who want it. It's not too dangerous as long as you don't get caught by the militia, of course. Why do I get the feeling that the boss is that guy that uh, we talked to in the past? Okay, I guess I can't break those.
I used to live in Genova. My dream was to become a traitor. But I quickly learned that only traitors' sons became traitors. So then I came here. When you think about it, our work is kind of like what traitors do. Just more legal. Don't say anything bad about the boss. He's our savior. Many of us are sons of pirates. Long ago, a volcano erupted on our island. The boss took us in and taught us a new, a new trade. This bridge is broken. The boss grew up here, so he's very attached to the forest. Personally, I found it a bit gloomy at first, but I got used to it eventually. What? The ghosts? You do know ghosts don't exist, right? If you're looking for the boss, I'm afraid he's had a bad day. He took off to get some rest in his lair. Best not to disturb him while he's in that mood. He's got a short fuse. Besides, his lair's chock full of booby traps. Anyway, it's up to you. You've been warned. Alright, let's go check this out. I'm pretty sure it's the same guy, but... I could be pleasantly surprised if it was someone else. Man, look at the, the 3D graphics upgrade from the last game's 3D graphics. It was crazy. Hey, yep, that's a face I recognize. Whoa, okay, so we got this game's version of Thwomps. Good to know. These are quite the booby traps. Whew. Ah, those come those come to life, don't they? Ah, it's a spider. Not a fan. Not a fan at all. What? Okay, weird. Yep, that's what I thought. These come to life. Okay, so two hits. Come on. Come on. There we go. Hey, doors open. Open sesame. Level up. Bit more defense, bit more health. Very good. Ooh, light puzzle. I do love myself a good light puzzle. Ow. Okay, so that hurts. Okay, so a more complicated version of that light puzzle now. Okay, so... Let's do this. Is 
there really another like flame thing that ah yeah there is okay there we go that should do it bingo got it Oop. okay there's a staircase here oh it's 3d slime 3D mini slimes. Oh, they get a lot smaller in, in 3D. Oh, oh, old skeleton. Wait a second. Is that just a stylized skeleton or do I recognize that guy? I'm pretty sure that's a very specific skeleton, but if we keep seeing that skeleton around, then I guess it'll just be a I guess it must just be a default skeleton. But I'm pretty sure that's a specific skeleton from a specific game. Rusted! Sweet, I can blow off the steam on something that won't complain afterwards. Apologies in advance if I break it. There we go, lowered the water. That fish is not gonna have a great time. Hmm, like a piranha or something. Okay, I'm gonna guess you're one of those skeleton types that just can't be killed. You just keep falling over. Ah, but a good old slam will kill you. Good to know. Yeah, that's what I thought you'd do. And now you're dead. Ah, so the challenge was to probably kill just all the skeletons, I'm guessing. And there's a little boat now, cool. Alright, so I guess we gotta push this boat in place, correct? Yep. And then... Put that back in place, water goes up, and we have a bridge. Bingo! hate spiders. Really doesn't matter what game they're in. I just hate spiders. Uh, we got more thwomps to deal with. Good. Sure would love to be able to spin the camera, but it doesn't look like that's a thing. Whew, that was close. Hey, level up. Bit more damage, bit more health. Very nice. Whoop. Ow. Well, what did that do? Gives me a little bridge. Where do I place this little bridge? Shoot, the timer ran out. Ah, that, okay, I did get it right. I was wondering if I got it right. Ah, wait, no, I need to go here. Charge this up. Fire. Get the water to go down. Okay, 
now I need to push this like that, like that, so that I can then do this, fire, nope, not within range. Done it. Okay, next save point we get to, we'll probably log off because we're out of time. But if I log off now, I'll have to do these last two puzzles again, so. That's why we're just gonna head to the next save point, then we're gonna log off for the day. Oh, hey. Well, I didn't think it'd be that close, but, uh, okay. Good place as any. Alright, so yeah, that is Evo Land 2. We ain't done yet, but, uh, we're, we're in the 3D era. So, this, this game is getting pretty cool. Oh, has our inventory changed at all? Nope, still pixelated. Very cool, very cool indeed. Can't wait to see who that third character in our party is supposed to be. But we've got a bronze sword and we've got bronze armor now. And uh, yeah, it looks like we've still got a lot of game left to go. I'm so glad that uh, you guys voted on us playing Evil Land 1 and 2 because so far, it's only been five episodes, but man, it's been quite a fun ride. So, let's move on to the next part of the live stream, shall we? So, let me just set this up, gotta mute the game, mute the game on my end as well. Close chat so it's not overlapping. <sighs> Alright, so, just gotta put this controller out of the way. Oh yeah, definitely. Lots of tie-ins, and I love that there's lots of tie-ins from other games. So cool, so fun. I'm glad that the makers of this game had fun referencing probably all of their favorite games from their childhood and such. So yeah, let's move on to the verse of the day, though, which is, as always, provided by the version Bible app for iOS and Android, with all sorts of translations of the Bible for your reading pleasure. Today, we've got Matthew 4.4. 4. So let me just grab my uh, my notes. Okay, so, today's verse. People do not live by bread alone, but by every word that comes from the mouth of God. Matthew 4, 4, specifically of the New Living Translation is where this one comes from. Now, these are words taken from the Old Testament, which... Sorry, yeah, these are words taken from the Old Testament, Testament, which are, in this part of the Bible, spoken by Jesus. Now, not that I tend to regard any part of the Bible as unimportant... But as we are to follow Jesus' example, anything directly spoken by him, I really want to make sure I fully understand. To understand this verse, we have to start with an understanding of the meaning of bread. Here, bread refers to what sustains us. If you get down to the basic needs of life, we generally regard them as bread and water. Without either of these things, you won't live long. Water gives us our, our hydration. But bread represents nutrients that we need to live. Jesus is telling us that the word of God is just as important for our life as those other nutrients. As bread nourishes our body, God's words nourish our soul. Uh, as, as bread provides the building blocks necessary for our body to function and grow, God's word provides the foundation for us to grow spiritually. Just as there is no way that we can survive without bread or food. There's no way we can survive in this world as Christians without consuming God's word as often as we consume bread. Without it, we will become spiritually unhealthy and at risk of spiritually dying. Now, before we finish, I also want to give you the context behind this verse. This takes place when Jesus has been led into the wilderness by the Spirit, and Satan is tempting him. Jesus has just spent 40 days fasting, and has become very hungry, if you know what fasting is. Satan knows how powerful Jesus is, and tells him to use his power to turn the stones around him into bread in order to satisfy his physical hunger. Jesus, however, has been led by the Spirit to fast, so he knows that doing he knows that he is doing what God wants him to do. Yes, he acknowledges his physical needs and his and is certainly hungry by this time, but his priority is following God. He trusts the path that God has for him and is committed to following that path regardless of how he feels in the moment. He trusts that God will take care of his physical needs and he 
he does not have to take over and satisfy them himself. Now, this is a great reminder for us. First, Satan will always tempt us away from following God's path. He'll try to get us to rely on our own power, air quotes there, but not that we really have any substantial, rather than relying on God. Second, try not to make your decisions based on how you feel. Jesus felt hungry, and the natural thing to do would be to eat, but God was leading him to fast, and God had a reason. Yes, it wasn't easy, but it did have a purpose. In thinking further about this part of the Bible, I find it interesting that I can't think of another time when Satan comes back to tempt Jesus. Wouldn't that be, a, wouldn't that be great if it could apply to our lives in the same way? Unfortunately, I have to doubt that I would pass a test from Satan like Jesus did. Even with Jesus' help, uh, even with Jesus' help. And third, it's important to know that this part of the Bible... The, sorry, it's important to know, know to know how this part of the Bible ends. Satan tempts Jesus three different ways, and each time Jesus responds with God's word. At the end, Satan leaves and angels come to take care of him. Jesus knew that he could trust God's plan no matter how he felt. He stayed on God's path, and he was right. At, at the right time, when the time of temptation was over, God took care of all of his needs. We need to remember that God will do the same for us. Rely on God and his word to protect you at the right time, and you will be blessed by it. So make sure you're reading God's word. Sustain yourself and grow spiritually the way God intends you to, and the, God, the way God intends, and you will see God's blessing in your life. And uh, yeah, that's the that's the verse for today. I hope you all enjoyed. I am now back from my little uh, one week or so of vacation, so uh, we will be having another episode on the next Saturday, and uh, we'll be starting a new season of MMO Mondays. This upcoming Monday, which is the, looking at the calendar, 21st. So yeah, uh, just to remind everyone, we'll be playing Windcraft, the Minecraft MMORPG. So uh, it's it's free as long as you have Minecraft, so you can get on the Windcraft server. It's, it's pretty fun. I'll be making a new character, so I'll be in the lower level area if anybody wants to join me. And uh, yeah, I'll see you on, on Windcraft on Monday. And I'll see you back here for another episode of Evil Land on Saturday. So yeah, have a good day. Have a good week. God bless. If you're on YouTube, there's another video starting right now. And goodbye. Thank you for joining me live.